on YouTube. Uh, today I'm out on the Susquehanna River. I uh, figured I'd switch it up a little bit. I've been spending most of my time doing a lot of metal detecting. Um, those of you that follow, which aren't too many, which is fine, but those of you that follow, I've posted a few metal detecting videos. And I haven't really gotten out down here uh, too much uh, this summer because of the, the, the water. It was just water was up in this up on this bank and uh, even now it's kind of hard to see you can see a few rock bars sticking out but so spent the afternoon watching today's solar eclipse and here in Pennsylvania it wasn't a total eclipse but uh, we had about 70 percent coverage and uh, got my glasses and was out there checking it out beautiful sight um, Hope any of you guys that were able to see it got out and took a look because it was really something to see. Um, love that stuff. But So anyway, down here again on the Susquehanna River. And uh, go for a little walk, see what I can find. I'm already starting to find a few pieces of flint, some flakes there. But I'm hoping to uh, maybe find an artifact to get on film. And we'll see what happens. Might even get out a little bit later, do some metal detecting. But... Uh, Figured I'd come down here, take an hour or two, and take a walk. So we'll see what we get. If I find something cool, I'll get it on film for you, and uh, hopefully see you on the first find. Back. It's only been about 20 seconds since the uh, little intro that I made, and I got my first arrowhead, first point here. Pretty hard to see, but it is a tiny little. I'm not even sure what it is, but it looks like it's all there. Tiny, but perfectly made. Awesome. Typical for down here. Um, I was a little disappointed because usually this bank is, when the water's lower here, I'm actually used to looking at these rocks that are in the water. Um, a lot of the wave action will cut into this stuff and pull it down. And you can see all the way down there, it's all, that's where the cut is. So most of the prime area that I want to look at is still underwater, but I'm going to search these gravel bars. But hey, that's a good start. This is one of the first points I got this year. Uh, the water's just been too high, you know. So I'll show you this when I wrap it up, but we're on the board. I didn't get skunked. So see you on the next find, hopefully we get another one. Hey, what's up? Uh, <clears throat> just wanted to show this as like a like a little teaching tool, actually. You can see here how the bank is eroding. And it's actually pulling out. You can see little pieces of flint. There's a piece of flint right there. There's fire cracked rock in here. You can see pieces of it coming out of the bank right here. There's another piece of flint right here. This is why I stopped it. You got a piece of rhyolite sticking out right here. Now again, not points, but this is all evidence, you know. And you can see how it all just, it all slopes down. And you can see this whole cut is like that. I found this area a long time ago, but this is what I love going and checking out this river. Um, I love finding places like this where the bank is cut. And especially when it's got a steep cut, because I don't know if they were... If this area was a little bench here that was being used or if it eroded from up the top up there but it's definitely even today eroding down into the river channel so finding flakes fire cracked rock all around there's pieces of it here pieces of old camp you know campfires so this is a prime area um, I just got that little point back there and I'm hoping to pick up something in here so I'll get back to you uh, if I find something else. Um, I found numerous points here over the years, so uh, anything could be in here. Um, you know, I'll go and check it out, and then it gets rained on, river comes up and down, it just pulls new stuff out. So hopefully we get lucky, find a couple of nice points in here. Even one more nice one would be nice, but we got that one, so happy about that. All right, see you on the next find. Back. Um, have a little find. This is uh, not much, but it's a broken point. 
Where are we at? Right there. Right in here. A little Jasper. Let's see. You can see a little bit of work on it there. It snapped at the base. But hey, we'll take it. Right in this little gravel bar here. I already walked over this area. This was on my way back. I just always keep looking down because this area is just, you just never know. But another little something or other for the uh, collection. Like I said, too bad the tip is, or the base is snapped off. But looks like it would have been a little stem point. Made out of some uh, brown jasper there. Looks like. Alright. Uh, hopefully we'll get something else. All right, here's the wrap-up on today's little walk along the Susquehanna River there. Uh, this is just a pile of flakes that I found down there, mostly rhyolite. Uh, this is kind of typical what I find down there. Um, I've found several Susquehanna broad points, and this is like some of the favored material to make those. Uh, over the years, I've found quite a few of the Susquehanna broad points made out of this stuff, the rhyolite. But, um, so it's mostly rhyolite flakes that I found. You know, not artifacts, but gives you an idea that you're in the right place. There's another one. Uh, it's just a piece of jasper. Still got some of the rind on it. Now, I'm in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area of Pennsylvania, and this stuff is uh, mostly found south of me, uh, down by Allentown and below, so maybe an hour, two hours south of me. Um, so it's kind of neat when you find this stuff raw because you know it was transported up here. Um and in ancient times, it's, they had quite an extensive trade network, but nothing special about it. It's just a flake, and it's still got part of the outside rind, but still, like I said, kind of neat to find. So, as far as the artifacts, of course, this is the first uh, first point that I found uh, down there today. It's actually the first point of the year for me, because I haven't really been getting down there. I've been doing a lot of metal detecting stuff, and uh, plus the water's just been too high this year. Uh, this was that point that I found that was had the snapped snap base on it there. You can see where that base got snapped off. So it would have been a nice little stem point, but... Okay, broken or not, we'll take it. This here, um, didn't realize until I cleaned up my flakes, but this has work all the way around. It was probably part of a blade. A little bit thick in the center there, but part of a blade or a tool or something you can see flaking on both sides of it and I apologize probably hard to see in the camera but this here was uh, at first again I thought it was a flake but there is retouch flaking all along the sides here um, again kind of hard to see in the camera but there's just a little bit of flaking taken out around these edges so I call it like a uh, like a utilized flake tool or a little flake knife they probably would have had it in their hand and you know maybe for cutting on something cutting on meat cutting on hides then there was this uh it's a chert pebble I find a lot of these down the river but this one here is banged up a bit um looks like they were trying to take some flakes out of it maybe try to do something with it as part of the rind of the pebble there um you know we find like lamoca points and things like that made out of these river chert cobbles like that so could have been something like that going on but obviously not finished just a lot of big chunky flakes taken out of it so but anyway that's the wrap up today uh, I said not much in the way of artifacts though that's a it's a cool little point there I'll take that any day add it to the collection um, but yeah, today's been a good day. It's uh, We had the eclipse going on. I got to watch that for a while and then uh, go out for a walk and find some cool things on the river. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, I'll be back on here again with some metal detecting videos. And if I get back out doing some looking for the Native American stuff, I'll try to get that on film as well. Anyway, take care. Good luck out there. And have a great day.